Hello again. Yeah, this is Major here. You know, out of all the things that I've built here on my little island world here, I think this Burger Chef uh, was actually one of the more enjoyable things that I've built here. I mean, now don't get me wrong. I enjoyed building everything else here so far. The gas station, the, the two island houses, and, uh, you know, the movie theater. But this uh, this Burger Chef, man, this, go this brings back some memories. You know, Burger Chef goes back to, what, 1954-ish or something like that? Uh, which was a national uh, fast food chain around the United States. And, um, you know, they, they closed out, I think, somewhere in the, sometime around in the early 70s, early to mid 70s or something there. So, you know, anywho, now, this is my, uh, this is my take on a retro Burger Chef. Um, I didn't think it turned out really too bad. Uh, you know, of course, you know, to write everything in, uh, you know, where it says Burger Chef and the hamburgers and such, you know, the signs have to be, you know, larger than, larger than life and everything. Um, it's also, you know, two-sided on the signs, uh, double thickness, uh, lights and, uh, you know, light sensors. Uh, the Pixel, I found this here, you know, here again. Uh, I appreciate people that... Uh, you know, post stuff up there. I mean, I, I don't know who the uh, person was, but this happened to be up on Google and uh, found a pixelated thing of a chef and uh, took it from there. And uh, that's uh, Burger Chef. So the actual Burger Chef itself, uh, I started really experimenting here. Uh, the actual Burger Chef itself, you know, these are the colors that it actually had. Uh, red and red and white for the building, it had the orange on the signs and stuff. Uh, did a lot of searching, you know, on that yet too. Uh, the white roof and everything like that, uh, the drive through you know. Um, I like the white tinted glass actually, because it really has a nice uh, flair to it. Um, one thing I remember that there was a burger chef that was close to my house was, is that the inside actually had orange uh, that 1970s orange uh, chairs and tables, right? Which that was like the rave back in the 70s. So um, I added, I, I forget what these are. I added the uh, sea lanterns uh, for, you know, lighting here inside and such. And um, it does get pretty dark because, you know, the height of the ceiling and such. Uh, those lights up there, they'll turn on. And the ones you see outside, those will turn on. Uh, when it gets darker outside. Um, anywho, uh, yeah, this was, you know, this was also my take. Uh, they might have actually had like a little planter, you know, in between where you sat at and uh, where you ordered at. Um, there, we'll go through. Let's go through, you know, there's your menu items of whatever you want, uh, your creepers and what have you. Uh, there'd be like a little office in here, which nothing is in there. I forgot to put something in. Uh, your cooler and freezer. There you go. Got a little bit of ice. Uh, see what do we got? Potatoes. Uh, with your French fries, your chicken, your hamburgers, right? And uh, we could actually let's drop something in. Oh look, we already got chicken. Let's drop some. Uh, let's drop some hamburger steaks in. Yep. Put a little trash can back there and such. This would be like a little prep area. The one thing I do like about this here is that I decided to make it into a drive through right? I thought this was pretty cool, right? So you step on a little pad, and the window actually comes down. So that would be like a little drive through it, it, You know, it's not that hard to make either. You know, it's just uh, just a pressure plate and uh, your, your redstone, right? That's all it is, your redstone going around to your little uh, repeater down there. Uh, I think that's actually, uh, yeah, I kind of forget. I guess that's just normal. And then, you know, then to your, um, to your, uh, uh, piston, you know, with the, with the, uh, single pane glass on it. And it makes it look like a, uh, like a drive through window. So for anybody that wants to maybe do that yet in your next build, whatever, uh, I think it's pretty cool, right? So that's probably the highlight of the whole thing, actually. Uh, the upstairs is really nothing too major. Um, just, you know, the light switches and such. And 
you know, just where everything lights at. Uh, the back door cooler office, uh, the front prep and grill, you know, I could turn the lights on or off and such. Uh, lights upstairs, which would be out there in the, um, out front, you know, like for, oh crap, the, uh, the dining area. So, yeah, I made lights for there yet too, right? So, you know, anywho how. Uh, let's see if I can get back downstairs, not a problem. All right, here we go. Anyways, bathrooms. Yeah, I made a couple little bathrooms here again. Everything I make, I always put a bathroom in here, right? I always try to be as original as possible. Uh, I think that was like the woman's bathroom. Uh, here be the men's bathroom. Here again, put a urinal in it. Another toilet. Cauldron for a sink. I like the banner idea. The banners actually look like towels to a certain extent, right? So... And, of course, the, the, the Burger Chef wouldn't have had the door. I just got tired of actually opening and closing the door, so I put the little, you know, the little pressure pads in there and such. So, you know, I mean, this is my take on, on what a Burger Chef is, you know, from the pictures that I was looking at and such. It, it's actually pretty closely simulated there, so... Uh, the other thing I did, too, is, is I made a... Um, <laughs> I made a uh, an air conditioner. This is what I call my air conditioner. So you walk up and you press the button. You know, it has this like this little air compressor, air conditioner thingy, whatever like that. You know, simulation only, right? Here'd be the back side of the um, here'd be the back side of the uh, of the drive-through window. Uh, and I came around the wrong way, didn't I? Let's jump over here real quick. Big old drive-through sign. I mean, you guys, the sign has to be really huge to write the word drive-through, right? Uh, not, you know, not too many other ways to actually do it. Though, you know, hey, look, it's all about Minecraft. Uh, it's all you can do really in Minecraft unless you're working with like, you know, like tech, and, you know, in smaller blocks. Uh, this would be my little dumpster. Actually, it works. So I would get rid of stuff in the dumpster, right? Throw something away. I mean, like, like this, right? Boom, done. So, yeah, anywho how. Uh, way back when, buildings also had ladders on them too, right? So, you can get to the roof, you know, way back. But, you know, dumb kids today get up there and they hurt themselves. So, yeah, not only like certain personnel is only allowed up on there. You know, back in the day, you know, we had more sense back in the day. You guys say whatever you want about that. That's the damn truth. So, alright, anyways... Anyways, well, I guess I gotta gotta stop this here. Uh, anyways, so yeah, this is my take here again. Like I said, uh, we'll do one more flyby. Uh, let's do the flyby here at night. Let's do that here, so you get the get the chance to see it here. Ooh, there you go. All right, bam. Uh, the sign, yeah. I wish I could light it up a little bit better, especially where it says, you know, the, the, the chef there. Uh, I'm working on how to do this. Actually, I think I incorporated a better way of doing it. So, I will show you in a later video how I'm actually uh, lighting the signs up a little bit more. So, alright, anywho how, this is what Burger Chef was back in the day. And this is my retro style Burger Chef of, uh, in, uh, in today's Minecraft. Uh, all right, anywho, how hey, thank you for looking. Uh, if you like the video, give me a like. If you don't like it, you know, do whatever, don't care. I'm just here to build, just want to show you what I've been building. You know, I, I'm a mediocre builder, probably a little bit better than mediocre. I wouldn't mind getting on somebody's like big project. Oh my, you know, like like Westeros or something. He gads, yeah, I think I'd have a lot of fun in something like that. But, just a matter of fact, trying to, you know, find somebody that would trust me, you know, who I am, so. And also, too, finding the time to do it. I mean, eventually I'm going to be going back to work, and who knows when I'll have time, so. Alright, anyways, I will show you some other things here later, but uh, I'm going to start uploading some videos. Alright, you guys, uh, take care, and, uh, you know, for those that remember uh, Burger Chef, uh, live on, write a comment. Take care, bye-bye.